Hemorrhoids are vascular cushions that are located in the submucosal space in the anal canal. External hemorrhoids are located below the dentate line, have somatic innervation, and are painful, whereas internal hemorrhoids are located above the dentate line, have no somatic innervation, and are generally painless. Hemorrhoids are classified based on their location as well as their degree of prolapse. Hemorrhoids are described anatomically as three cushions located in the left lateral, right anterior, and right posterior positions. There are four grades of hemorrhoids based on degree of prolapse. Grade 1 hemorrhoids bleed, but do not prolapse. Grade 2 hemorrhoids prolapse on straining, but reduce spontaneously. Grade 3 hemorrhoids prolapse and require manual reduction. Finally, grade 4 hemorrhoids are prolapsed hemorrhoids that cannot be manually reduced. Common symptoms of hemorrhoids include bleeding, discharge, burning, itching, and prolapse. Bleeding from hemorrhoids is typically described as bright red and occurring with bowel movements with spotting on toilet paper or in the toilet bowl. Pain is typically not associated with hemorrhoids unless there is an acute thrombosis, usually of external hemorrhoids. Conservative treatment is first-line therapy and includes a fiber supplement, encouraged water intake, counseling to reduce straining, and avoidance of activities like reading while sitting on the toilet. For patients who fail conservative therapy, several types of procedures may be offered. Rubber band ligation is the most common office-based procedure for symptomatic internal hemorrhoids and can be performed for grade 1, 2, or 3 hemorrhoids. The rubber band is placed 2 cm above the dentate line, above the level of somatic pain innervation. Complications are usually minor, such as pain and minor bleeding, and because of the bleeding risk, rubber band ligation is typically avoided in patients on anticoagulants or antiplatelets who are better candidates for sclerotherapy. Operative treatment is reserved for patients with grade 3 or 4 hemorrhoids and those with persistent symptoms. The Ferguson or closed hemorrhoidectomy involves elevation and removal of the hemorrhoidal tissue off the anal sphincter complex with ligation of the pedicle and closure of the defect. In contrast, the Milligan-Morgan or open hemorrhoidectomy leaves the wound open to heal by secondary intention. Outcomes are similar, although wound healing is longer in the open technique. Stapled hemorrhoidopexy has similar complication rates, but has the benefits of faster operating time and less pain.